I don't remember the last time I got to celebrate Lunar New Year in the Bay, but I'm glad I'm finally home. What's good everybody, my name is Andy Toe. I'm an OG Final Cut Pro editor since the 10.0 days. Some of y'all might have heard that it just dropped for iPad. And if you're a lifetime Final Cut Pro user, you'd know we've been waiting a long time for this moment. Even though I've directed videos with expensive cinema cameras, I really value being mobile and capturing inspiration when it strikes. Remember, I literally built this like last night when we was on the phone. That's why I love filming with my iPhone, because I travel a lot and I always have it on me. But recently, I got to collaborate with Apple on the launch of Final Cut Pro for iPad. I received early access to really put it to the test. What I've learned is that this app is the next step for creators like me, because now I can not only shoot, but edit, produce, storyboard, uh, time lapse, and even draw on the go all on one device. If you're interested in learning more about Final Cut Pro for iPad, you might have just clicked on the right video. If you're already subscribed, welcome home. Down, skimming, and let me tell you about my life. First things first, let me introduce you to some of the homies. First, we got Ben from Maryland, Matt from New Zealand, and Project Papa from Oakland. And last but not least, we have iPad Pro. She's 12.9 inches. I mean, it's a bit of a game changer seeing it on the big screen. Two terabytes of storage, loaded with the M2 chip, space gray, with cellular and that 12 megapixel wide and 10 megapixel ultra wide camera. And if you wanna know if your iPad is compatible with Final Cut Pro, check the description down below. I decided that I wanted to round up three different creators so that I would have three different takes outside of my own. So you can see what they doing iPad though. Vin has been editing on Final Cut since the 10.0 release and he's also Vietnamese. Shout out to the motherland. <laughs> Matt is primarily a Premiere user and performs basic edits but is open to switching over. Project Papa and I are currently in production for his episode of My Life Oakland and I wanted to show you guys how I've been incorporating iPad Pro into the film. It's that time. Next let's jump into some of the basics and explore the creative interface. I'm super excited that creators will be able to see my Lunar New Year video in Final Cut for iPad as a downloadable project. Now that it's downloaded, let's jump in. Oh, I can already tell it's an HDR. The first thing I notice is how intuitive it is to use the multi-touch to move around my project. I can interact with my edit in a much closer way than I can with the mouse and keyboard. The timeline just seems so much more cleaner. Maybe it's just the way you edit. Navigating around the timeline is smooth AF, like autofocus. Even something as simple as pull and select feels really new. I can select this clip, grab a trim handle, set my endpoint here, skim, tap to select my out point, and then boom, just drag and drop that right into the timeline. And because of the magnetic timeline, everything's going to set in place. There's also some audio on it that I want to mute, and it's really simple to do that too. I just tap volume, use this slider, slide that thing down. It's crazy how quick I can edit with just my hands. Now, test, I saw someone use a jog wheel. Where's that? The jog wheel is another feature I loved using. It's a game changer because it allows me to be super precise. If I tap right here on the top right, it shows up on the right side. And since I'm a lefty, if I drag this over to the left, wow. Thank you, Apple. I use the jog wheel to fly around my timeline. Or if I want to be precise, I can slow it down to go frame by frame. It's not just a navigation tool though, I can also edit with it. My shot's a little too long, but if I tap this edge and use the wheel, I can actually trim my clip. Slide the wheel. Oh, I can also use it to move clips, like this last edit. voiceover. I want it under this clip I just added, so I can select it and then use the jog wheel to move it. I'll move this shot right before this mural clip. The jog wheel also works great in the browser. If I double tap to clear my range, you can see that I can also use the jog wheel to move around to set ranges within the wheel. I can hit this, hit the end point, and then select an out point. I think the best part about this whole scene is that we're going to be filming it on, on the new iPad and we're going to use Final Cut's camera to do it because we got access to this manual focus control right here. Yeah, that's not there. Tap that. Oh, yeah. manual. Oh, oh, with zebras? And then we're gonna have them sort of like come into the frame and be in focus. So this is like super unique to iPad, like the first of its kind. And if you also look over to the right side of the screen, we now have access to white balance controls. We're gonna prop it up 
on this tripod right here. Kind of set it up like this. And then we're probably just gonna shoot it like that. Uh, in 4K ProRes. I see that they're ProRes. Yep, Good. yes sir. So you could yeah. tap to turn that on and off and you notice four hours oh, yeah. on my iPad. So we've been mixing up the media just to switch it up and get creative with it. Uh, Fat, what you think? Oh, wow. I'm ready to see what that's gonna look like. <laughs> I ain't seen nobody shooting on my fucking iPad. <laughs> so that's for sure. Look and see the camera again. That's low key hard, man. That's hard, bro. Come through. Grab this trim handle. Select the off point. That clear is just drag and drop it. Be the reason your ass becoming the victim lost souls down the road. I can't even. Once you got your clip, all you're gonna uh, want to do is go and tap the content browser on the top right. Okay. And once you're in there, uh, you'll see you're, you're in the effects, and then just scroll down to your masks and keying section. Mm -hmm. And then you'll see the scene removal mask. So all you have to do is just drag and drop that on top of the clip. Scene removal mask. I don't have to make a duplicate of the actual clip. I could just. Oh yeah. So you want? Yeah. So um, yeah, you can do that. If you want to put your title already on there, it might be. Oh okay. Easiest, if that makes sense. Oh, let me just. Yeah, let me. Let me just. Oh, do that. I, I think I'm frozen. Can you hear me? Oh, uh, I can hear you. Okay. Cool. I see you. There you go. Yeah. So you can you can duplicate the clip first, but um, either way, if you want to do that, you can long press the clip. Yep. Press copy. And then move the pay playhead where you want to actually paste it. Okay. And then you can just long press again, and it'll say paste at playhead, so you can paste it. Okay. And then I'll just bring it and drag it on top. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And now you can go do the open the content browser, go to mask and keying, and then you can uh, drag and drop the scene with the map. Mask and keying. And add it to the top layer. Mm hmm. Oh shit. Hell yeah, that's crazy. Does it work real well? Dude. Alright, hold on, let me show you. Who that, who that is? Just about to pop! Yep, young Bill, man, I've been around him stop. Something that's really unique about editing on iPad is how well Final Cut Pro works with Apple Pencil. Using the hover skim allows me to preview my timeline without having to touch the screen. And it allows me to be really precise. It also works great for live drawing. If I tap this up at top, we will enter into live drawing mode. I can write titles right onto the top of my video. Don't judge my handwriting, y'all. Lunar New Year. So to make some minor adjustments, I'm going to select this marquee tool and circle around the object I just drew. I could change the colors. Hmm, white looks about right. And I could recenter this and reposition. After I'm satisfied with my drawing, I could just hit done on the top right. For those of you guys who don't know, this would have taken so long back in the days. I don't remember the last time I got to celebrate Lunar New Year in the Bay, but I'm glad I'm finally home. That's crazy. Me. My life is too crazy, no editor. Now let's see the final results. Let me enter into full screen, which is right here. And double tap to play. I don't remember the last time I got to celebrate Lunar New Year in the Bay, but I'm glad I'm finally home. Lunar New Year symbolizes the beginning of a new year and represents the desires for a new life iPad for Final Cut Pro. I mean, that's Final Cut Pro for iPad. That I'm impressed. <laughs> I couldn't even see. That a couple minutes that I had to go on it, it's, it just seems super intuitive. I like it. The layout is different, but it's only because I was a desktop user before. But this one seems a lot more easy to get into. The layout's a lot more efficient, in my opinion. It's much easier to just kind of jump in and just start dragging clips. For someone who's on the always on the go, mm -hmm. um, want to also be light, mm -hmm. but pa with power, um, iPad plus camera or with phone or whatever device you're sort of shooting on. And the thing about this is like, 
this is something you can film on, something you can edit on, something you can upload on, yeah. all in one device. And that's been like one of the biggest key messages in this whole sort of video. And that's why I sort of reached out to you because I know that you live that actual lifestyle. Uh -huh. um, so, yeah, I mean, this is perfect for me, yeah. Coming from humble beginnings, if it wasn't for Final Cut Pro, I wouldn't be here today to share this journey with y'all. Who would have known after all these years tucked away in the lab would lead up to Apple selecting my Lunar New Year iPhone video to be demo content and app for everyone in the world to try out and experience. I'm super excited for what the next generation of creators will be able to produce with Final Cut Pro for iPad. And as for me, I'm still in the weight room, still hooping. Still creating. Keep an eye out for My Life Oakland Project Papa coming to a movie theater near you. And last but not least, I want to give a huge shout out to Apple for bringing me back out to California so that I could spend some time with my family.